All right, we've got all our pieces back. We've remachined our blocks. Flywheel and intermediate plates are remachined and ready to go. We've cleaned everything off. We'll put our first disc in place, and you can see this is labeled flywheel side. The disc has an offset to it. This is the flat side, this is the offset side. So we're gonna have the offset side facing down as such. Next, we're gonna put our intermediate plate in position. And then we're gonna take our second disc. Now, a lot of times these discs will be labeled pressure plate side. All our rebuilds, we'll put a double P on there indicating pressure plate side. And again, you see it's got an offset side and a flat side. On the twins, we always want the flat sides facing each other. I'm gonna say that again. On the twins, we always want the flat sides facing each other. If you don't, there's not enough room, causes a bind, and your clutch doesn't work. We're gonna put our drive blocks into position. Go ahead and we'll put our pressure ring into place. And last but not least, put our pressure plate on. And now we can start feeding our bolts through. We're gonna be using a flat washer because we're probably gonna to have to take this guy apart once or twice to make sure we have our finger height where we want it. So we'll use these as a temporary right now. All right, got all our bolts in. Let's torque them down to the 25 foot pounds and we'll see what we have. Be sure when you're tightening these bolts, you go in a star pattern. You don't want to tighten any one all the way down. It'll be nice and even with this new diaphragm spring. All right, we've got our clutch all together. Next, we're going to show you guys how we test the clutch and why it's so important that we make sure we have the right finger height and we check the clutch for release before we send it on down the way. So, stay tuned. Video will be coming next.